John Henson, give a nice hand. John Henson. Being single is, uh, it's difficult um, to connect with somebody. Sometimes you think, you ever think you like somebody and then everything's like going really perfect, you're into them. And then you notice something really tiny about them that ruins it for you. Has that ever happened to you? Like a sexual disqualification kind of a thing? Like, you know, like she smiles real big and she's got that one weird dead gray tooth back here and you're like, what the fuck is that? I don't want my tongue touching that. That shit could be catching. You know what I mean? Or like, uh, like uh, L.A., you know, beautiful weather, so women are always wearing sundresses, sort of a sexy little sleeveless thing, which is all real good, and until she signals for a waiter, and they, you know what I'm, ladies, what is that shit? Is it's like deodorant crumpets under your arm, or some? It looks like blue cheese under there. I'm eating a salad. Put your goddamn hand down. You know what I mean? So you were single for quite a while. <laughs> I was. We know I, we, uh, we we were both had uh, different marriages. I, I was gonna say well, I've been single a, a series of times. Yeah, uh, yeah. Because that's a, you know, don't you feel like when you when you're like sex when you're single is different than sex when you're married because when you're single it's new it's fresh. Yeah. You know you can't be you. Can, I mean you're married you can't be kinky when you're married you know what I mean. You can if you dress them up like somebody else. Well, uh, <laughs> that's usually what I do. That's, yeah, I I never thought of that. See, my my thing is more like um, like. But also, you, you have a kid now too, so that kind of yeah. Well, that that, that puts a little damper. On so things. that's God's way of letting you know sex is wrong. That if you <laughs> if you do it right, he makes sure that you don't fuck again for five years. Like what you, what this ought to keep them busy. We we're talking about cavemen earlier, and. Um, what do you think they thought when a kid, like, do you think they put two and two together that the kid was from having sex? Uh, I think that was the, f I think that was like the first magic trick known to man. <laughs> you know, so. it's like, uh, and ta-da! <laughs> do it again, do it again. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's a long trick. Yeah, it's yeah. A long yeah. Trick. <laughs> All right, hold on a second, I gotta stack the deck. <laughs> Did you help deliver your child? I mean, I drove to the hospital. But I, <laughs> and what time did you pick her up? <laughs> that's, a, that's about when my qualifications ended. Were you nervous? Uh, I, Look uh, at me. Well, I mean, here's the, <laughs> I, here's the, you know, I mean, it's easy for it's like because you know, I wish that people were a little more forthcoming with advice to expecting parents. Did you? Do, were people honest with you about what to expect? Yeah. See, nobody. They were not with me. I, when my wife and I told everybody that we were pregnant, we were at a barbecue, and we went. There was like a circle of guys that all had kids, and I went. Around, I was like, so, you know, all excited. Guys, tell me, what's it like? What's it like to, to be a dad? And um, and they go person by person, <laughs> and it's like these drone answers that have been drilled in, and they're like, it's the greatest thing that ever had to me a whole life. Or, Unlock portions of your heart you never knew existed. It's the purest form of love you've ever experienced. And then. At the end, there was one guy with like a beer and a thousand yard stare going, I don't know, man. <laughs> I, Sounds like the deer hunter. I was like, you don't know. He goes, don't get me wrong. I love my kid, but <laughs> if I knew then what I know now. And the worst part, that was my dad. That was my father. And I was <laughs> like, I'm right here, dad. John Henson, ladies and gentlemen. John Henson. 